from Bombay. <laughs> uh, I'm from Bombay and I just came here and met Pratik on Twitter and just thought of working with him and it's great since the last 1.5 month. So yeah, we do a lot of experimental stuff in our company and then we uh, recently did this grunt stuff like we we were we Uh, I, I I think most of you people are aware with the grunt, but the grunt. Um, I, let me give you the short introduction of grunt. It, it, it can it can take uh, all the automation of your script, magnifying and uh, uglifying and all, and making all your a uh, uh, lot of JavaScript into one concatenating and making it to S3 very very beautifully. So. it and uh, will take you through the uh, deployment process which is really very quick so there's a uh, really quick installation of this like it, it comes as a <coughs> node module so you can uh, just do a uh, nod install grunt and it will it will install all the required dependencies and you can just initialize all your uh, 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 it has a no, it works uh, sim very similar to nod application like you have a pa package.json which has all the dependencies and all really uh, uh, really very good to get started very quickly so it has it you can you can specify all your uh, configuration and what you want to do in a grunt file or uh, that can be a JS or coffee script uh, doesn't matter so in this uh, in this this is our uh, this is a live code for deployment so in this we are just uh, 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 I already did. Two fingers swipe up. Okay. Commanders first. Oh, okay. It's like. So it is. Uh, so uh, here we are just specifying that uh, it sh it should initialize this. Uh, it should initialize and get this uh, one JavaScript file to manify, and then we are doing a basic uh, uh, S3 setup. Uh, this this is really cool if you are if you are uh, if you have to. Uh, two st stages of your deployment like you can have staging or production then you can uh, you can take that uh, take the configuration in a variable and pass it uh, pass it uh, 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 as an option or something so after after that you can just specify what kind of files you want to upload you can give uh, wildcards and all and then it will it will be and then and uh, then afterward just give a quick configuration file where it should pick up from and all and then you just need to uh, you, you just need to give the default uh, default functionality to be run whenever you call a grunt so we're running uh, and that those configuration files are really just basic uh, json file which has all s3 related data so that's very 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 quick so uh, and making it making it work for your so this does, like you can specify where you want to deploy it. It can be a staging. It uh, your configuration fi uh, files can vary on that. And by doing this, you just 
it it just zooms up everything and you are you are you are deployed on on your server. The main thing which it, it does does it doesn't have is CDN invalidation, which I think that's the uh, that that stuff is provided in S3. I I wish really that it should also have that thing because we are we have went through a lot of pain for invalidating CDN in, uh, in last two three days. So yeah, that's the quick uh, really quick. Uh, Walkthrough of Grunt. It can be used uh, very, very uh, efficiently, and with basically you are you are done with your deployment in uh, in few minutes instead of making a human error and all uh, uh, by uploading S3 on S3. So yeah, that's the that's the whole thing. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a way to list all the tasks that Grunt has? Yeah, there, there, yeah, there are there are there are list 